Hi, this is Joe Herman, and this is the ThinkPad P51 mobile workstation by Lenovo. In the world of mobile workstations, only a few manufacturers do the job right, and Lenovo is certainly one of them. In this review, we'll take a look at the ThinkPad P51 and see what makes it a compelling machine. Let's start by unboxing the machine. Here's some protective packaging. And here's the P51's 170 watt power supply. Now let's take a closer look at the machine. The Lenovo ThinkPad P51 Mobile Workstation. A high performance mobile workstation built for demanding design animation and post production challenges. The computer has a classic ThinkPad feel, with rugged construction and grippable texture on the cover. While not necessarily a thin and light machine, the P51 has a compact feeling nevertheless. Here's a look at the keyboard and the multi-gesture trackpad of the P51. I found the trackpad to be large enough with a satisfying feel, as well as three buttons, left, right, and center, on the top and the bottom. The keyboard feels solid and comfortable with a cursor nub for those who don't want to take their hands off the keyboard. There's also a full numeric keypad on the right. A really cool feature about the ThinkPad P51 is that it has a built-in Pantone x rite color calibrator under the keyboard. To use it, you simply launch a program that comes with the machine and close the lid over the sensor. The calibrator then goes to work calibrating the display. There's a narrow speaker grill right over the keyboard. Here's the 720p webcam and microphone. Here's a look at the back of the machine. There's an air vent, power connector, HDMI port, a speedy Thunderbolt 3 port, an RJ45 Ethernet port, and two USB 3.0 ports, one of which is a charging port. On the left side of the machine is a full-size SD card slot and an express card reader. The right side of the machine has a security slot, mini display port, two USB 3.0 ports, and a headphone microphone combo jack. Here's a look at the bottom of the machine. Let's take out the screws and remove the bottom panel to gain access to the internal components of the machine. The bottom panel is made out of metal. Right here is an internal high-speed PCIe NVMe SSD drive, which in this case has a capacity of 512 gigabytes. There's a slot for a second PCIe NVMe SSD drive, which I would suggest you install for your work in progress, and use the first one for the operating system. These drives are extremely fast, delivering speeds up to 3 gigabytes per second on the read and 1.5 gigabytes per second when writing. Here's a bay for a 1TB 2.5 inch 5400 RPM hard drive for additional storage. Here are the memory slots. The Lenovo ThinkPad P51 supports up to 64GB of DDR4 2400MHz RAM. That's an ample amount of memory, suitable for most challenging jobs. The 6-cell 90Wh battery is easily removable with or without the back panel having been removed. 
That makes it easy to swap it out with a spare battery when you're on the road. For the CPU, this Lenovo ThinkPad P51 has an Intel Xeon E3 1535V6 processor with an 8 megabyte cache and a boost speed of up to 4.2 gigahertz. That's an impressive CPU with power enough for the most challenging projects. For graphics, this ThinkPad P51 has a potent NVIDIA Quadro M2200 GPU with 4GB of GDDR5 memory and 1024 CUDA cores, a powerful graphics card for 3D and CAD professionals and the latest GPU renderers. I'll be posting a link to an article below which I wrote about the ThinkPad P51 that has detailed benchmarking results. The Lenovo ThinkPad 51 is available with a 15.6 inch 4K UHD 3840x2160 anti-glare IPS panel shown here. It's really a nice looking display and images look great on it, making it suitable for graphics and animation work. So what do I think of the Lenovo ThinkPad P51 mobile workstation? Simply put, it's a great machine that's made to handle high-end production and post challenges like 3D animation, video editing, and visual effects work. Nice! This is Joe Herman. Thanks for watching.